Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. As you can see behind me, I've got an unwanted visitor and I'm not sure how to deal with him. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, he's going to have to stay there for a bit anyway. So let's get on. We were making the windmill. I'm going I'm to keep my head down and not look at him. <laughs> so I've got enough bits and pieces to make the windmill now. So I just want one ingot of iron, which is going to be a bit tricky <laughs> since he's in front of my iron store mm -hmm. so I ain't sure how we're going to do this let's have a look let's take some cobblestone out of there 63 will do I hope we will have enough for 63 goodness gracious me how can you play this game oh, I've only got 60 oh, I've got one over here that's fine I should have got some compressed cobblestone, that's even better, because that's what it was going to do in the first place. Um, how am I going to put, how am I going to get rid of this guy? Can I put a block down that will actually get him? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not going to risk it anyway. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Hopefully he'll go away, but it doesn't look like he is, because he's been there for a while. So let's put these blocks down. And that and this is definitely the best way of doing these now I've got my wand no it does only does one row at a time so it's probably not worth it seven now seven is actually 63 so let's let's go and get the hammer out of the bag in fact I think I've got a stone hammer somewhere oh here we look let's, let's see if we can break this we'll get rid of it So now I've got some gravel. Did I get all of the gravel there? I should have got 63. Yes, probably have them. Well, it's definitely not the way I wanted to actually use an episode today. So the recipe for that one. Get the other 11. I don't suppose I'm going to get enough from this. We'll just sieve it anyway. Oh, wrong one, cobble. I want gravel, don't I? And I better haven't got enough space. No, nope, I haven't. This is why I have these little dump chests so I can get everything into them. In fact, in this case, I've been out. Oh, yes. What was I doing? Actually, I do need the food. We'll keep these with us. Don't need that, don't need that. I'll keep my chalice with my, me at all times. And this one. Well, I think that'll do for the time being. We don't need those just yet. I think the rest of the stuff comes with us when we do it. So I might have enough space to do that sieving now. I had a zombie pigman in my base, and what I did with him is I just put a. Um, a piston and on the end of a piston I put a spike and just pushed a spike down and that got rid of him quite nicely of course I trapped him into a space he couldn't get out of iron 7 yeah I'm doing this badly let me get the other gravel out of here because I think with iron, if you're using compressed gravel, you get less of a set of rewards. Let's take, actually, you only got one there. Let me just have a look and see what the best one for this is. So the recipe for that is to sieve. So with the flint stiffen mesh, mesh, I have a chance of 10%. With an iron stiffen mesh, we have a chance of 30%. And with a diamond one, we have a chance of 40%. All right, we're better using the diamond one then. So I won't bother to, I'll just, I'll just put those into here. So we'll just simply sieve this up. So seven blocks. We just done the these and put this down here like this. Actually, that's quite nice. I did, in fact, get um, 
exactly 64 which goes nicely by four so we should be able to quite happily craft the iron ingot that we need to make this this is going to be you know this is definitely a challenge <laughs> and there's actually a mob directly below me i guess and last time my video was well too long i do apologize about that and i still haven't gone to show you what i was doing either right that should have plenty of iron this time i've got plenty of iron so we've got enough for an ingot basically i don't know what i'm going to do with the rest of this stuff let's stick it into here that's what I'm... so let's have a look at uses of that one press that and i should get all of these and we'll leave the other stuff as it is for the time being and i'll go out the way so my my screen looks a bit better <laughs> oh goodness so we can get rid of these um, the bugs I'll take with me, the spikes I'll put away, these I'll leave with me, the chest I'll... I don't know what I'm going to do with the chest. We'll take the hammer because we're probably going to need that. And some wood to do some climbing and I think that'll probably be what we need for the time being. Oh, I've got two emeralds. I will take these as well. And maybe some stone slabs just in case. And I think we'll take the bucket. Right, that'll do for now. I think we'll live with that rest of that. I don't think I need anything else. A shovel and an axe, possibly. Well, we'll see. Anyway, I can finish off the crafting on this thing. So let's finish that off. So it's just... Oh, I need to smelt the iron, don't I? Um, yep, we can do that in here, no problem. Let's do that in here. This will probably be the fastest way of doing it. And, it. and I only need one ingot, so that's not too difficult either. In fact, I did carry on between the two episodes with a small break between them. And we have our windmill. And we've got the requirements for that too, so that's no big deal. So that's Ah, quest completed. Oh, that does remind me. I've done all these quests and haven't claimed any of the rewards, have I? So let's do that as well. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got also got nine XP. I should save that somewhere, shouldn't I? Maybe we should use it first of all. I don't think I can do gathering. I need 13 XP for that. And the same for mining attack i think we probably do want to increase the attack but at least to 10 if i remember rightly 11 skill points seven skill points okay good and we've got some things i've got some other things to eat as well i've got apple juice and i've got these and the bugs oh, the bugs are great this one isn't so good but it's not too bad. Better than nothing. Alright, out we go and see if we can put this windmill up. And I have no idea what height we need for this. Now there is a mob over here. I've seen him hovering around. And if I think, if I'm not mistaken, if it's one of those little embers, they'll come through the spikes here and get got. So let's just hope that that happens. Yep. Yeah indeed one hit with those and they go which is great because that basically means i'm not increasing my difficulty more than i need i think basically the difficulty is just dealing with there we go another one and a third one that time i actually did get some xp what happens if i nah we'll leave the orbs in there and what have we got three thousand three hundred and forty eight not very much so what i I'm not sure about is the height of this windmill. I think it's fairly high. So what we could do is put a block down here. Let's try it at the top of this lot if I can reach it. If I can't, I just have to climb up. So let's just climb up a bit. I think here's probably a good space, somewhere in the middle. Like that, maybe. So we put a block up here. Can we put the windmill on top of it? I 
Oh, we can. Good. Now, does that have enough space? Oh, it looks like it does have enough space. Fantastic. Even better. Now, so that's going to work, but I need to probably put the gearbox onto this to start with. Let's do that. Fortunately, the gearboxes are not being stored where the underman's state standing, so that's not too bad either. I can do it from here. So we'll need an axle, and that's basically all we need, I think. Well, let's hope anyway. Oh, that's where the other. That's where the other bucket is. After all that time, I found this second, a second bucket. So it looks like I could come down two blocks with this one as well. So if we stand here and go up, let's say we go up like that. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, did I? Is that the other one? Oh, that's a wooden gearbox as well. Right, got the wrong things in my hand. Let's get the axe out and just drop these two down. I think it's axes they need. Quite slow. Try that again. Now I think, yeah, we can do that. Good. So we can take this off here. And was it an axe again? Isn't it? So we will need the gearbox. Will need to be here. Um, that can stay in the fall for now. So we can bring it down at least one. So we'll put it down, say here. That's basically where I want the, the the windmill to go. I hope that's where I want it to go. I'll just try it on that like that. And of course, yeah, that's about right. So we can then put an axle behind it and the gearbox. So the, I think the gearbox is going to go here and then the axle goes into it. I, I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. So that we've got enough depth underneath here. So that's also good. Fortunately, we can do this. This is quite good actually. I didn't realize that. Move those two big axles. We'll want the gearboxes and the axles. I don't think I've got enough axles, but there is a good thing about this. Right now, let's remove these two. I should be able to do that without too much of a difficulty. Yeah, so I should be able to place an axle here like this, and I should also be able to, I hope. I don't need the plan. I should be able to place the gearbox onto this. Now, is that going the right way? Ah, perfect. So then we need to break this, and then the thing should start to turn. So let's just break this. Like that. So we then can put down the two axles down here like this. And that will actually do. Now what I'm going to also do is put a lever on this. Now I don't have a piece of stone and a piece of wood. Yes, I can do that. No problem. I can make, oh no, I can't. Sticks are different, aren't they? I forgot. So I've got sticks in my bag. I think I've got one stick in my bag. I saw one unlit torch. Nope. Never mind, we'll have to go and get some sticks. In fact, we'll make a lever. Let's put a lever on here. And that will actually prevent it from breaking. One piece of... One stick and one piece of stone will do the trick. He's still there. <laughs> oh. What? Cobblestone. Oh, tool rod. Ah, okay, yes. That was because I was doing something else. Good. Now, we've also got, if I'm not mistaken, I made a second... I had to make a second grindstone. Yeah, millstone. Because I did it before it was ready in the quests. And now, in this just over here... I have got some yeah, hemp. Let's go and put this hemp outside. See how it's so funny having to look down all the time. <laughs> I 
And really, what I should be doing is I should be. Um, well, I need the I need the bit lower down. So what we can do here is we can put a lever on this. If I can reach, I guess it doesn't look like it can. So right, okay, let's put some more. Oops, I just got attacked again by something or other that's shooting at me. That was very strange. Picked up and throw and attacked at the same time. Oh, blaze. Okay. Well, let's, I'm going to have to go and get this blaze before I get killed. Let's have a right click here. Oh, it's a magical blaze. I'm uh, probably going to die in that case. <laughs> I think that's what's throwing me up. Uh, let's have a quick regen. You can't shoot me at the moment. Somebody else can. Um, 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 um. Oh, what fun today. Let's get out of the bag the bow. Have I got the bow in here? Yes, I have. And I've got some torch arrows. And my health is... Not too bad. I should actually get a bug in my hand. Because as soon as my bug goes, I can get a lot of saturation. Oops, he's not there. Where is he? Has he disappeared? No, oh, I can still hear him. Or is that the blade? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Right, in that case, let's just carry on if he's gone. Looks like he has gone. Good. Okay. Phew. Now, after slight distraction, what was I doing? I was going to make. I was going to put the millstone on top of this, wasn't I? Like that for one thing. And I'm also going to put a lever on it. So let's do the lever first. Uh, oh, what have I just done? Millstone. Very careless. Let's get my pickaxe out. I need that, don't need the wand, I need the pickaxe. Try again. You see, when things like that happen, you definitely get distracted. <laughs> Good. So I want the lever. At least I know I can reach with the lever now. So that's in slot three. And then we can turn it off. So now we can put the millstone on here like this. And we can then put the hemp into here. And then we can turn it on again. So this should start to grind the hemp quite nicely. And we should get the hemp that we need for the other uh, axles because we need to bring the axles down and we can do it there it goes just sort it fly off did I pick it up I did good while that's doing that let's just clear away some of these blocks here this is one of the reasons I wanted the absorption hopper there's some more look And it's faster, and I don't take any energy. It's brilliant. And we've got 12. That's enough now for another couple of axles. So I will put those axles down, turn that off. And then it won't break. So we can then maybe do the saw. Gosh. So much danger. But what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put a slab in front of that on that lava thing. Oops, he's still there. <laughs> I've forgotten about him. <laughs> hmm. ah. Right, I'll do that with that one. So what we need is an axle, don't we? So let's make the axles. I stopped that wrong, Ellie. So we want this one, which we should be able to do. Can make two that's good so we can make two axles actually it's not that great but it's better than it's better than nothing and i'll just put down this slab in front of it. i'm going to put a stone stab on top of this but i'll put a, a wooden one to position it
Like that, then we can use the axe on this one. That sounds like a ghast in trouble. Now, what could be hurting the ghast? Don't know. Right. So now we can remove this and bring this down further. So let's do that as well. So we need the pickaxe. Oh, could I do? Forgot to take that out of there. But unfortunately, didn't forget. So we can now bring down two. And I think one more. Yes. So we can now put a second gearbox down here. Like this. I hope it goes. Yes, it does. Great. So then we can take out of this. I need some more. Uh oh. <clears throat> I need another axle. Otherwise, I'm. I can't do that. So let's just remove this one for the time being. But we need two axles. That took a long time to break. Did I just use the wrong tool? Oh no, good. So. Where's the hemp gone to here? So we just put down the millstone again. that into the other six of those hemp that should give me plenty turn it back on again have a look around and let's hope it doesn't throw the bits over there that could also happen oh it's thrown out three already where have they gone to oh there those three. That'll make one. Make another one. Twelve. Actually that'll make two and I need to make, make another axle, don't we? <laughs> it's funny how they fly around. Something shooting at me again. There we go. I think that's some all good. It's some all. So let's turn this off. 18. And let's get back inside again because I can hear. It's probably that blaze. Oops. And I don't like magical blazes. I will be honest with you. So let's put these into the like this. That should give me three. And then we can put that in the middle and those two on the top and bottom. That'll give me another three axles. So we've got four axles. So we just need the saw. Which we'll go and get the saw now. And where's the gearbox gone to? Oh, it's, down, it's down below, isn't it? So where is that mob that's shooting at me? Place those actually. I'm quite pleased with those. Probably should move on a little bit zigzag pattern for the um, for those spikes. So now we can remove this pickaxe. I think is the millstone one. Yep. So we can now put the gearbox. That's not a gearbox. Where's the gearbox gone to? I thought I put a gearbox down here. Oh, it is a gearbox. Okay, good. So we can put this down here, and three, and three is the maximum for those, by the way. So we can now put the, ge the gearbox down. And I'm not sure. I think I've got to do it from underneath. Oh, no, that didn't work. So I can't t turn this around, can I? I need a tool for turning this around. I wonder if the engineer's hammer will work. Oh yes. And I think that's actually done the thing we need to do. So what we can now do is we can now put an, an axle here. 
and an axle on this side here and then we can put the millstone beside it here like this which I won't do for, to start with in case it breaks the gearbox but I will put the saw down because we need to get this saw into operation and the saw is actually quite dangerous like that so let's turn this back on again oh I haven't connected up yet have I? oh that's strange it threw it off why did that throw this off maybe I have to remove this axle maybe I have to remove this axle here go oh of course it has done because it's down to more I've only got I'm only got a distance of three okay so we can do the same thing so let's just drop this one down so we could do it if I move the thing down one more button so we can now put an axle on here and then we can say oh, that's it turning now as it should have been let's take the saw and for that matter the axle Now, we should be able to... Oops, hello you. Oop, another one. Gosh, they always come in pairs, these things. One. Alright, I need poison to get rid of that thing. So let's put the saw down here like that. And that's working, so let's get some wood. And put some wood... I think we just have to put it here. Then we can get sidings. Let's pick a couple of those sidings up. How many have I made? 14. Let's make a let's make 16. And also let's then cut one of these two of these up, I think. That's strange. Where did they go to? I picked up those, that's fine, that's right, that's good. So well, now we can actually do some more progression. Well, I hope we can. <laughs> the Enderman's going to be a pain if he's still here, and he's still here. Uh, how can I get rid of this Enderman? I really want to put a spike behind him so he jumps away. Can we do that? Uh, maybe if we do this and then we do this and we can't put a spike on there can we Ooh, we could put a spike on here let's put another spike on this spike over here uh -huh. Well, <laughs> he spiked in. <laughs> All right. But none of the spikes are doing him any damage. Uh, I can't look at him, so I don't want to look at him. <laughs> Turn around. That would be a good place for a spike. Nope. It's just going to have to be in the way. Right, okay. So all of this business, sidings, was to make um, a trap. So let's look for the traps from pa Pam's Harvest Craft. Uh, so I think I need a, one of these, first of all. So let's make, what well, can make two? Good, we'll do two. Two sidings. And then the uses of these were the traps for the Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, which is this, ground traps. So what do I need? Sticks and a chest. Okay, well, let's go and see what we've got in here. No chests in there uh, or in there, but sticks we've got in no shortage of a supply. We'll take 32 sticks and we've got 31 pieces of wood. So let's just do that. It's very difficult working at the moment, I will be honest with you. 
Right, 19 of those. We'll make two chests, which will be two of those. And I need 32 pieces of wood. That's oh, alright, we can do that. Like that, one of those goes into there. And then we can make the others with this one. Held by. It doesn't make any difference for chests, we can do that. So. So now we should be able to make the rest of the string I wanted, wasn't it? Didn't check whether I got any string with me. Let's take twenty-four, let's take half of those. That should be that should be enough. I think it was only six we need. So ground trap. Good two ground traps. So now we need some bait hmm. for the ground traps. And I think the one we have to do is probably this one. Fruit, grain, string. Oh, we can do this, no problem. And fruit, we probably can't do. Fish bait trap, veggie bait trap, cauliflower. We can't do that either. We can do this one. Let's go and see if that works. Because wheat we do have. In fact, I've got some, even got some here, I think. Let's put those into there and take some more wheat. Let's take, that'll do for three. For some more string I'll need. I'll need three per, don't I? So let's take that. That'll give me enough. How many more? I'll take all of it. Because I'm not sure at the moment. Grain traps. I'm not sure which the ones we need for this, but we can do 24 grain traps. That leaves me seven of those. We'll put the other bits back and we'll put the traps down and see if they catch anything. I know it's not instantaneous in the sense of from chest this one. But it will do reasonably well. So let's, I hope. Well, here looks like a good spot for a trap, a trap anyway. And here, and I don't think it matters. Let's put half in each. It'd be nice to find out if I could actually do a the other type of trap, um, a fruit trap. We could try an apple. Because we can do it with apples, we've got no shortage of apples. So we just need some string. That'll do. Go away, I want you to go away, please. Let's have a look whether fruit bait will work. Ah, it does indeed. 24 will do. That'll do, fine. So we can move the others across and see what we get in the traps in that case. Twenty-four fruit and twenty-four ground. They haven't caught anything yet, of course, but it'll take a while for that to happen, I reckon. So, what I've done is I've covered everything I wanted to do for this episode in terms of building things. So, let's go and have a look at this. Over here, this is basically which direction am I going? East. I basically I built and built a passageway. And I come along here and I go up this side, I think. And you can keep going up. Hello, zombie pigman. What are you doing in the way? Get out of the way, please. And this is where I've been doing a bit of resource collecting. Because it goes up quite a long way. In fact, it goes up to bedrock. So down here was a good, good place. So where am I? I'm at height 125. So, And here you get soul sand. And I've been mining out some soul sand there. It's no big deal. Well, I've still got three axles, so don't make too many axles. And then we come to this, and this is lively netherrack. Or oh, hype for. Hype? Oh, that's probably this one, it's hype for. And this is lively netherrack. I don't know what the uses of this is, but. Well, I do, but I don't know what we're going to use it for yet. And it just goes going on. So let's just try something else. Over here we've got the 
the area that I was doing before. So let's just change this to two by one mode for the, for the oops, that's the one. And let's just see what we can get with this one. Let's just make one up here. I don't know what's here. Oh, I didn't press the I didn't press the key your your excavation key. Let's do that. Oh, it takes me ooh, right down to the bottom here. <coughs> right, I'm not going to say anything about that. But you get blocks for this, so let's just. Let's just go back up. That was um, very careless. At least while I'm jumping, I can eat at the same time. We should put one block down here like that, and then we can get back safely. And I haven't put any torches. I didn't bring any torch, but I should have done really to keep the mobs at bay. But I reckon this is going to be a good area for doing some mining. And that actually reminds me, there's one thing I haven't done yet. Is to do some mining or set up that miner. And I think I can do that now because we've got treated wood sticks. And with the treated wood sticks we can make a diamond. But I think I've run out of time for today. Or for this episode anyway. So until next time, I wish you the best. And if you've got any hints how to get rid of that Enderman, please tell me. Until next time, bye for now.